going on YouTube? My kings, my lords out there. By the way, the reason why I'm sharing so many of my, my secrets, as I call them, is because I really have a lot of faith in you guys. For only one reason. Not because of who you are. Obviously, I don't fucking know you. But because uh, I call you my brothers. We go through the same thing. We cry the same tears. We, we feel the same pain. We, we feel the same lust. We, we love the same things. We hate, you know, in some cases, the same thing. So I feel like, you know, everyone out there, especially every male, is my brother, you know. Uh, and so a lot of females out there, I also call them my brothers, not sisters, because, like I said, a brother is a, is a, someone that you share something with, in a way. And, oh, fuck, I'm in trouble. Hope police doesn't see me doing this. But, um, yeah, this secret I want to sh share with you guys is, uh, it's about reading. I mean, everybody knows the importance of reading. You have to read. I mean, no, 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 no question about it. No doubt about it. You have to read. Especially if you want to accomplish something great in this world, you have to read. I don't know a lot of people that 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 are remembered in history, and that have now read a lot. You know, why is it, why is reading so important? As much as I hate reading, why do I read so much? You know, uh, it's because by reading, you copy and paste the experience of someone who's way older than you. Like I said before in a separate video, if you read a book written by an 80-year-old guy. That's 80 years of experience, uh, 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 most of it, that you're gonna learn in like a few weeks of you reading that book, you know? And, and, and it's very important to not repeat the mistakes of the past by, like I said, copying and pasting somebody else's wisdom, somebody else's experience. So, but now, what happens when you can't read, when you find it very hard to read, even school books, you know? Uh, the reason why I'm sharing this is because I, I went through that same problem. I have a lot, I have a big problem reading. Um, because we live in a society where, you know, you have YouTube, you have videos, you have documentaries, and, and you're like, why, why the fuck should I sit down in a quiet room and read when I have video games and TV? Well, uh, speaking with like a friend of mine that I, used, I also call one of my mentors, because he's really wise and I pick at his brain all the time, he, he told me something very, very important. Why don't you just open a chapter, right? Let's say you have to read a book on, I don't know, chemistry or history or whatever class that you hate, or math. Instead of you sitting there and reading, that's the people that when you read, you realize, oh man, I, I read three paragraphs and I only remember like half of it because your mind is always wandering off. People like that, which is like me, we, we audio visual learners. We like video and audio. We, we rather have we rather sit there and have somebody preach to us than read ourselves. Now, instead of saying, oh, I got to fix that problem, you don't have to fix it. Use it to your advantage. If you have problems reading and focusing on reading, simply look at the topic that, you, that you're covering. And this is a very simple advice. It's not nothing deep or anything. Look at the topic that you're covering and go on the internet, go on YouTube and watch a video about that. There's people that make videos about every single topic you could think about. For example, you're reading a, your history book and you're like, oh, I don't, want, I don't want to read. But this chapter is about Assyria, right? The Assyrian warriors. And, and you don't feel like reading. Simply look at each section of the chapter because thank God every book is organized in sections. And if the topic is the building of an empire, right? Just go to YouTube and type Assyria Empire, boom, and watch the video as you're reading. You know what I'm saying? So you, you're watching the video, and as you're watching the video, that's what that, that's what that friend of mine told me. As you're watching the video, look in the book for the stuff, the keywords that you, that you hear mentioning. If you hear them mention uh, the king, blah, 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 then look in your book for that king's name. And as you're listening, read. Read and listen at the same time. Believe it or not, you're going to run through that chapter without even knowing it. And it's going to be fun. It's going to be interactive. You will not get bored. So that's one method that I'm using now and it works so good. Even if you're studying math, like calculus, derivatives, you're like, I don't feel like reading that shit. Go on YouTube, type derivatives, you know, the specific topic or chapter that you're studying with your class at the moment and watch videos on it as you're going through the book. Because you could pause the video when you're stuck and look in the book and go, hmm, what does he mean by that? What? Square root? Then you can open a new tab, square root, watch a video. This is the best way to learn without getting bored. Because you're constantly having images displayed at you. And we like images. We like movies. We like, you know, interactive things. So, so it's the best way to learn because we live in a society where we're used to visual. But yet we have to, you know, we're taught at school to read, you know. And, which, you know, and like I said, times change. You got to evolve along with the changes, you know. If you find it hard to, to focus and read, don't force yourself to do it. Find ways to use the things that you like to do. And combine that with the things you hate to do. In this way... Uh, you like watching TV, so use videos to study, you know, read your book as you're watching videos. If you have an economic class, uh, do the same thing. You guys are studying uh, taxes, for example. Type Tax 101, whatever, on Khan Academy or YouTube. That's the best way to, you know, get through a chapter or a topic. And if you do this for every week, every week of, of the semester, every chapter you guys are studying, thank God they, gives a, they give a syllabus in college, so you have an outline of what you're going to be studying each week. It allows you to be, you know, ahead of the class. Without having to sit in the corner and be like, okay, time to read. 
Alright, so just use that simple advice um, for people that are in school. Hope that helps. Team 3D.